Hey now, I hope you are doing fine. When I attend the Hot Wheels convention in Los Angeles, California, it's real easy for me because I'm within driving distance of the convention. I just load the truck up and then bring my stuff home, or now I bring it down here to the studio. But when I go out of state, I have to fly most of the time. So sometimes when I get back, my stuff's still in suitcases and I just leave it in the suitcase until I make time to bring it back home until I find time to put it away. Well, I know this one is from the Albuquerque Marriott, so that means this suitcase was when I attended a, a Matchbox gathering of friends in Albuquerque. I don't know what year though. Oh, well I'm gonna find out right now. It was the 13th annual Matchbox Collectors, July of 2015. So <laughs> the stuff's been in here for a year and a half. Don't know what I bought, but now it's time to open it up and uh, get the stuff put away. Hopefully there's no underwear. Shouldn't be underwear. I, I keep my uh, dirty clothes in a different container. So we have a matchbox. I bought a, this was pretty cool. Now, look, it's been a year and a half. I don't remember what I paid on this stuff. Here you have Majorette Super Movers. Now the reason why I picked this one up clearly because I collect red, white, and blue. If I'm going to buy something from Majorette, Majorette's not sold in the USA. So if I'm going to get something that's kind of nice for my collection, this one's perfect for me. Red, white, and blue. I like to collect red, white, and blue. So this definitely makes sense. I see they have other trucks listed as well. I don't remember if I bought more than this one truck or not. Uh, we're going to, you're going to find out same time I am. Matchbox a long time ago, they had these uh, treasure chests to where it was a, uh, you can win a pirate adventure. Most of the time in here it was like uh, stickers or I think they were, not iron-ons, tattoos. You know those tattoos that you can wet and put on your skin. Um, find a gold colored medallion inside the treasure chest to win these prizes instantly. I don't know if anybody won it actually. So I'm gonna do an unboxing video with a bunch of those. Here's the Matchbox car carrier. Hot Wheels power launcher, $3.40. The only thing is the person that sold this didn't know that the Mini Cooper is very desirable from this set. This version only came in the power launcher set. And I think that there's another one, but I don't think it has a checkerboard roof. Now, I know this thing was selling for over $100. I didn't pay $100. I already have one. But since I know this thing is worth a lot of money, and because I know the person didn't know it was worth a lot of money, and they sold it, uh, they sold it pretty cheap, so I bought it. Because I know if I want to let, let it go, I'll get my money back easy. Mario Kart die cast. Racing champions. Five different models. Had the uh, Mario Kart license. This is... This is very likely to appear in a future race screws video. Since this is in bubble wrap, this must be a prototypes that I bought at the auction. Let's see which one is this. This isn't a real working rigs. This is one of the Matchbox had these play sets with creatures. Here's a here's the creature that came with this set. And this is a prototype, official prototype from Mattel. They donate it to the convention and then they auction it for a children's charity. So I purchased this one. Aqua Claw with Kraken. Oh, it was called uh, Creature Catchers. And apparently it was released in 2013. As you can tell, it's the prototype. It's bare metal. The plastic from the toy when it was released did not look like that. This is just sample uh, plastic coloring and this piece moves right here. I'll save that uh, for another video. This must be, this could be another prototype. Uh, let's see, what is it? Yeah, definitely prototype. Let's see what it says. Fort Crown Vic Matchbox 901 is the man number. And when I buy prototypes, I like it when they're not riveted because then you can, you can pull it apart. But no tampos. This was a, an official release. Not an official release. This is an authorized uh, prototype that was donated, again, by Mattel for the charity. 
and I won that at auction. I, sh I shared pics of that actually on my Instagram account way back then. Here's a uh, Takara Tomi uh, catalog. There's some more of those sets. Donkey Kong 64. I thought it was called DK64. Oh, yeah, right there, DK64. What else do we have? Mm, any 90s kids? Powerpuff Girls diecast. Again, racing champions. And I believe that uh, our round two, I believe that round two owns the racing champion name now. Oh, what do we have here? Got a bunch of Tomaka, Japanese, looks like. It might not all be Japanese. Sitting on the floor, let me get a little better position here. I don't know if I should take all of these out. I guess if you're watching, I'll take them all out. I'll just do a, a quick look at them. Uh-oh. I just messed up the package. No, uh, later. You're going to have to wait until another day for the ripping, because they will be uh, used in, definitely in a video. Nope, two different models. Look right here for the name, okay? And I'm going to keep the video moving. I'm sure this video is going to be uh, over 15 minutes as it is. This brand, Tomica, is not sold in the USA. Somebody brought them in from another country and they were present at the convention. So I'm glad they did because then I picked them up. I don't remember how much I paid. Just had my coffee. I'm a little jittery. Sorry. Plus, I'm kind of reaching over to get in front of the camera. So uh, I don't know how much I paid, but it could it could have been in the uh, eight dollar range each per car. Because if I'm going to bring if I'm going to get them into the USA, uh, they're going to cost me over that to ship for sure. This one here. Uh, now, I definitely paid more for this. A uh, gentleman came in. He had a whole bunch of different ones. Here's an insert. Yeah, he's the one who probably gave me that catalog. He's the one that probably gave me this catalog right here. Uh, I picked this one because eh, this is one of the models. I thought I, thought I bought more. Uh, I'm thinking I bought five. I thought he had a special. Five, four special. So I don't know if there's anything different with the model itself. This is a vintage Matchbox super fast. I don't think there's anything different to the model itself. What's special is the Japanese box. Here's a bag with another bunch of boxes. Let's see. Should just cut it, eh? Hey, here we go, some vintage, super fast. Bunch of different, I don't, I'm not sure what this is. Number 43. Oh, look at that. Uh, I don't know if it's Kenworth or not. I don't want to say and be mistaken. Mack truck. Oh, yeah, yeah. Six-wheeler. This one, uh, a little bit torn. Rollomatics. This is something that Mattel is doing with their uh, Hot Wheels line. Is some of the models, when you roll it, uh, something will turn. So when this one rolls, your radar dish on top turns. Tyrone, super boss. This might be red, white, and blue. There you go. I have one of these actually that has a red window. Pretty hard to find. I don't know if there, it should have a higher value because it has a red window as opposed to this uh, aqua, turquoise type color. color. Um, I think I only have one. Nope, I'm not letting it go either. Please. Oh, Blaze Buster. Sounds like something they would do nowadays. Blaze Blaster, Blaze Blister. Here we go. Oh, this thing's pretty heavy. F 
Ford, Ferrari, 308 it looks like it says. There you go. Metal base. Metal body. Sounds plasticky though. But no, there you go, Ferrari. Camaro IROC Z. Looks like it has an opening hood, huh? Yep, sure enough. One more box and then a bunch of tissues. Nissan 300ZX. I'll have to put them in a downhill racing video, eh? Ah, this, I love this. I love this model. It's fun casting. I'm pretty sure I already have one. Uh, stretch of fetcher. Pretty sure I already have a, one or two. But look how nice this one is. Excellent condition. Opening tailgate. I'm gonna have to put them back in the tissue because I got to get them in my uh, super fast jammer. I showed some. Uh, I showed a video of uh, super fast in the weekend show. I showed my collection. Well, I thought I had more, and here they are. This is what happens when you don't put stuff away for a year and a half. Matchbox reissued this a few years ago in their super fast line. This one is original Lesney. It says uh, Lesney on the base. Is this open? No. I, I have this too, but this is, a, this is an excellent condition. Here you have an Alpha Caribou. Caribou. Mattel has a caribou where the uh, windows, the doors open. This one does not. Mattel in their vintage red lines, uh, but they have one. Why did I get two? I don't know why I got two. Look the same. What is this? Wagon? Got a couple dogs in the back. We have Lesney Matchbox Series, made in England, Mercury. That's all it says, Mercury. I'm not sure of the full, full casting name. Oh, yeah, look at that. This one's nice. Here you have the Dodge Challenger. That looks pretty cool. I think it said 1971. This is a classic, uh, super fast piece right here. Mini haha. The only thing is kind of fat. Doesn't I don't think he's going to fit on the track, so he's not going to get to race. Take a look at the driver. Now this one's a little chipped up, but uh, that's all right. Maybe I'll get another one later on. Did I pay four dollars? I don't know. Opening doors. Here you have a number third, number three, Monteverde. H A T. It looks like it says. That's pretty cool. It has a uh, uh, U S drive with the uh, steering wheel on the left. Look at this. Pretty cool. This is the Freeman Intercity Commuter, copyright 1970. There's your steering wheel on the typical Lesney right-hand drive. Lesney being a uh, British company. Here's some uh, more modern releases. I think these are around the uh, turn of the century. I don't remember seeing this one. FJ Holden panel van.
Ford Transit and Jaguar. Oh yeah, red, white, and blue. I already have this one, but uh, I def I have this set. This showed up at um, Mattel's Toy Club, Mattel's Toy Store back in the day, so I know I have those. Next models. Not not familiar with this, and that's why I just picked up one from my collection to have a sample. I'm not sure if there's a, a mother company that owns this brand or not. Welly. Now I know. I wish they had Welly in the USA. Here's another couple models from that set that I was telling you about. I already have them. Glad to get another Jaguar XJ220. I almost said XJ8. Really like this one. Oh, here's some vintage. Check this out. Um, now these these Matchbox, they were they might have used the same bodies as other Matchbox releases, but look at the wheels. The wheels were really cheap in these releases. Look how small they are. And from what I'm told, they're pretty cheap. Look at I think it has a sticker sheet. No, is that a sticker sheet right there? Seems so. Should be. Decorate your car with speed sticks, customizing kit. I have two sets. Here you have a Datsun 280Z. Toyota Celica GT. Mazda RX-7. And there is a Dodge Challenger. Two of them. I think I paid 25 or, uh, no, it says 45, but he gave me a, I know I paid less than that. He gave me a deal for two. Look at this one. This one, they put staples to hold it together. This one doesn't have the names of the cars in the package. And the cars don't even have any uh, graphics at all. So apparently that is a sticker sheet. Oh, there it is. Underneath that car. Well, I wonder how hard the gum is after a year and a half. There's my asthma medicine. I'm sure it's expired by now. And last but not least. Let me give it a shot. One try. Save the bag. <coughs> Here's some more of the wellies. This is more of a uh, European brand. They might be sold in Australia as well. Let's get a, a size comparison. Where's that Jaguar? Kind of hard to see in this package. No, not a good comparison. Where's the first matchbox I showed? That'll help. Should be there 164. It says 160 right there. Now matchbox, these are these are not uh, to scale, right? But you can tell they're the three inch type models. Matchbox Holden off-road truck. Looks like I can open it up. Red, white, and blue. There's another bug. A couple wellies. I don't know why there's a blue package and a green package. Not sold in the USA, so I couldn't tell you. Here's the other uh, black block. I think these are called black box, by the way. I don't know if they're called that or just collectors called them that. And the other one had a J number. I think it was J8. So here we have four, seven, five, four, five, seven, five, nine, three. Oh, look at that. That's going to be a good one. J1. J2, well, let's open them up. This one's kind of sticky. 
I don't know what's up with the paint on that. Okay, where did it go? J1. Here you have no name. Lamborghini Miura. Sorry, I didn't show you the name on that first one. I might have to speed up in between cars here so that I can uh, keep it moving. This, the first one was a Lotus Europa J3. It looks like a Toyota 2000 GT or something, doesn't it? <laughs> well, that's what it has on the box. That's not what's in the box, though. This is Iso Grifo. Nice uh, color. J4. Rolls, Rolls Royce Silver Shadow. Good thing there's no dog back there. Not this time. J5. Well, this is the best sample in my collection now. Official name, Ford GT. No opening features, but I love the Ford GT. J7. Pretty wild graphics on the Alpha Caribou, second sample. I don't know if I have one in my collection already. I don't recall. J9. Mercedes 230SL, it looks like. Got a hitch. That might be all the black box. I'm not sure. We'll find out right now. Let me get this one out because it's open. Oh, yeah, there you go. Sleet and slow, the U.S. mail truck. I already have uh, several samples of this. But I don't, know, I don't remember if I have a nice box, so get another one. Besides this, I bought this off of, uh, I forgot his name, but he's a mail carrier, carrier in Arizona, I believe. Uh, imagine that, carrying weather, carrying mail in the heat of Arizona. That's, <laughs> that's, that's a job right there. On the base, it says U.S. mail truck. I see another super fast. Another mail truck. It might have been a variation, and maybe that's why I bought them both from him. I don't recall right now, but for now, was the other one like a darker blue? I don't recall, but there's a, another sample. I think the rest are Tomica in the box. They're, they're plastic wrapped, in, but I'll go ahead and show you the outside of the box. I'll let you read the names. I'll just show real quick. I, I guess I could say, geez. How much effort does it take just to say the name? Lexus IS350 Sport. Lexus RCF. Chevrolet Corvette Z06. Nissan SEMA. Subaru Impreza WRX STI. Toyota Land Cruiser. Skyline. He wrote first color. Honda Z, 
CRX. Let's start over. Honda CRZ safety car. Now I know I've shown you on the weekend show, I showed some of the Tomaka that are waiting to be in a downhill racing video. So some of these I might have already had, but I couldn't recall. So I just, I'd rather get it than not. Go to Exige S, Porsche 911 Carrera, Chevrolet Camaro. This one says Tomaka Shop on top, scale 167. It looks like a, a Lamborghini type model, but I don't see any names on the box. If it's if it's Lamborghini in uh, the other language, I'm not sure. Mazda CX-5. Here you have a Morita Firefighting Ambulance. Let me tell you, this thing's heavy. It's not going to do well on da downhill racing, though, because it's a skinny. It's probably one of the skinny models. Mazda Atensa. Now, a lot of uh, Tomakas, they'll have a name in Japan, and then they'll have a different name in the USA. I don't know if this car has a uh, different name here. Morita Firefighting Ambulance. Porsche Boxster. Mazda Excellus Sport. Yeah, that looks like a model that would be here. Mazda Excellus Sport. It looks like a car that could be in the USA, but I don't think it's under that name. Lamborghini Reventon. As a matter of fact, I'll show that in a second. Nissan GTR. Here's another Lamborghini. Lamborghini Veneno. And here's the Reventon. And then you have that, have that Tomica shop model. See the similarity? Hey, another Lambo. Lamborghini Aventador LP700-4. Dubai police car. New for 2015. BMW Z4. I don't think I'm going to make it to the Albuquerque gathering this year. If you do make it, have a good time. I've done some other videos with my convention hauls. I put them in this playlist. If you're not familiar with the creature catchers, there's a link. And here's a YouTube video that YouTube is going to randomly suggest to you. Check down in the description for the two Race Crews Weekend shows that show Tomica and Vintage super fast. Thank you for watching. Happy collecting and have a great day. Bye bye.